uh, who is a business analyst uh, how does a business analyst do his day to day task and what are the roles he interacts on a daily basis so i'm using trello which is a agile tool you can say which is a uh, part of atlassian as well so trello is used for uh, probably de- uh, determining the status of a project and also anything we want to do or start with you can use this board as well so i am using it as a very fresh one so you can uh, follow this thing as well and probably i might not know where i got end of this but uh, let's start and see what are the features of trello and how we'll come up with the following things we we want to discuss today so i see that the trello uh, this is a free version i have logged in using my own uh, gmail account uh, the businessanalystguide.com and i see the the page i landed is this the home page and this is like a workspace i guess yeah and this is like a home page and it says create your first uh, board so when i click on this one it asks me to uh, create a board uh, probably choose the background that i need to select so i'll go with the dark background i mean the full dark blue background and the board title would be uh, to uh, determine the determine the parameters right so we are going we are going to discuss things right so we'll keep discussion okay so discussion will be fine and the workspace is the same thing i guess yeah the workspace private would be fine and then create so let's see what it happens when we create this workbook so i'm into my workspace under discussion this is a board name i guess yeah board title discussion and i got many other things coming up here i'll scroll and see what are things uh, so it says that this is a board and you got a view of discussion there discussion is the title of the board then the businessanalystguide.com is the workspace i'm working for this is a private thing i mean i'm not sharing with anyone the power up are the additional add ons you can consider automation is another add on you can consider and filtering by members by labels whenever you select those things and the show menu is to change the background and also upgrade on the additional features and customizable field uh, if you want to go with that you can you need to pay up and take the premium plan i guess okay so things we will start so this is like a kanban board you got three things here i mean list here the first one is to do list then the doing list and the done list so anyone who is uh, working in agile environment might use this kanban board this is agile terminology where a process is been uh, categorized in a manner where we going to know what exactly the status of the particular thing which is uh, been worked on so for example let's say i want to explain you that who is a business analyst okay and i'll keep that under to do list because i have not yet explained right what who is a business analyst so i'll keep that in to do i'll add another thing that is uh, what are the roles of a business analyst these are the two things i'll i'm going to teach you today and other thing as well we'll add that as a, a review or you can say final uh, demo to the end now let's start with who is a business analyst now before i do anything or before i move this into doing i just want to know what exactly the features within this particular card so once i click on that business analyst like who is a business analyst i got a description there and the box with the kind of note and then save button then the activity of that particular thing and at the right side you see add to card the members you need to assign with the labels to uh, label need to assign to the particular card then the checklist if you have some checklist to be done then the dates attachment cover cover is nothing but a cover photo you can say and then power up apps these are all the additional features so let's see one by one what exactly it means so who is a business analyst first point now as i want to uh, make sure that this thing is uh, currently in in a in a stable state that is it's not in working progress or it's not yet done so it's in a stable state where things are need to be done so once i move this to doing that means it's in work in progress that means it is it is like the things are now ready to work on and once it is once the card is moved from doing to done then that means it's a definition of done that means now the particular thing is completely done done okay now first thing who is a business analyst so i'll write uh, my own way of understanding is like a ba who is a business analyst uh, is nothing but it's a combination of many things many roles you can say so he act as a project manager he also act as a qa and also as a sme sometimes and uh, also data analyst 
and might be sometimes as a product owner okay so these are some of the roles you might work work like not every time so a business analyst is nothing but a person who deals with projects okay and he works with business and it side now what exactly that means so business has a requirement to build an app for example that app has some features that is taken or you can say uh, noted by ba that means ba goes to business team and then gather all the information you can say gather all the information from the business guys uh, regarding the application what are the features they need and document them once that particular thing is documented then the ba sit and review the document okay review the document and then probably provide a process flow process flow the users working within that particular project i mean within that application who are the users then who is the stakeholder and who will, who are the end users of the particular project then that particular document is sent to the it guys that is the developers development team have more kind of conversations with ba to understand the process flow and requirement process requirement you can say process requirement that will give you a better understanding of what need to be done first done first now consider for example i am taking uh, i need there is already application within the within the particular organization they need a timer okay timer at the top of the of the app okay uh, this is the this is the only can say the title of the project but that's not a complete requirement mm -hmm. when a ba have uh, discussions with stakeholder he will get to know that the timer needs to be top left and only on the main page okay it should not be on any other page but it should only on the main page that's exact requirement now the ba goes to the development team and says that they need a timer top left while on home page then the dev team completes uh, works on that sorry works on that particular thing works on the thing something and then once they are okay with that once they have some demo they'll give it to the ba now the ba would test that and the acceptance criteria for here is it should not be on any other page it should be only on the home page right now once this is on the home page then the ba sends that particular information or the particular features feature to uh, testing to the operations team or the business team you can say to work on it now once everything goes well fine uh, sorry for this fine then it's all go live okay so this is the thing of a uh, day-to-day activity of a business analyst uh, comes in this particular thing. it's not a day activity it's a day-to-day -day activity within those days probably some of those days would be in this sense now if i click on save here you see that my description is added to that particular card and i have also explained the kind of role a business analyst would work on now if i close this one and when i move this business analyst card to doing that means that particular thing uh, is now set under a particular uh, a card that is a doing card a doing list sorry where this is this task is now ready to work on so i have did uh, because i just want to know that <clears throat> these things are understandable by you so you have a little bit understanding of what, what is a ba and what is that thing once you guys have a confirmation that yeah i have understood what is a ba what is the role then i have moved it to that now what are the roles of a business analyst okay as i've already mentioned some of this here it's a combination of roles i'll take this and i'll discuss in detail with this now now coming to this one <clears throat> now the ba is a combination of many roles that is project manager sometimes and quality assurance and the semi the data analyst and the product owner sometimes what exactly the role of business analyst it's like all rounder okay uh, what are the skills that need to be having for a business analyst it need to have an analytical skills 
then you got analysis skills. And you must have a little bit of a technical skill that is uh, SQL, Python, and uh, some of Excel workbook that is VBA. And then you got visualization skills that is uh, Power BI or Table. Or uh, so these are some of the things that you, that must be there. Uh, at least the basic understanding of those things that would be fine. Now the business analyst has very much. These are the different skills where uh, people will be able to see okay what skills he has, but the behind the scenes skills that is a behind the scenes skills. I like that behind the scenes, behind I mean behind scenes, behind skills. I would say modeling is process mapping. Then we got stakeholder mapping. Then we got RACI metrics to be done documenting things then the use cases user stories and process flow mapping okay it says i have uh, disconnected from the server and the user this page before reloading i'll save this one give me a second sorry for the interruption guys but give me a second Okay, I guess this should work now. So these are some of the behind the skills uh, that, that is uh, required for a business analyst. I click on save those and I'll move this card to the doing thing. Now, the one who are watching my video probably can follow these two things. And once you are good in understanding, then I am moving those cards to done. Okay, next one, I want to show you how actually a business analyst uh, works with uh, the team members so working with the roles so let's start with this one first i'll move that to doing because now i'm going to be doing that and i'll add here the first person he works with is the product also oh, project sponsor okay then comes to business leader okay then comes to SMEs, IT leaders, then the end user, then finally. Oh. So let's start with project sponsor. Now, once a project has been uh, initiated, uh, actually the initiated initiation is done by the project sponsor, and the allotment of budget and resources is also done by the project sponsor. So the budget. Uh, a resource and then my project sponsor. A business leader has a specification called requirements that need to be done. These are the stakeholder as well. Okay. And the SMEs provide a better view of requirement. Okay. And the IT leaders provide, oh sorry, develop the model. The end user test the model. And also, are the actual users of that product? And finally, all I'll show you now. So the first thing is, let's consider we have an application that can be built from scratch. So the the things comes to business analyst is from the product sponsor. So product sponsors first uh, get the initial product, get the budget fixing, and the resource allocation for the particular project, and then assign business analyst that this particular project need to be done. Business analyst set a meeting with the project sponsors and the business leader to identify what exactly the requirement is, and then he initiates the project. Now, once that meeting is set, in the meeting probably the business leader and the project sponsor would uh, give more insights on the product that need to be launched or that need to be developed uh, with the requirement features and all those things. Then the business analyst capture all the requirements, all the talks of the particular meeting, and then note it down. In the second case, where the business analyst has an idea, okay, what need to be done, he just contacts with SMEs if required and get more in detail view of exactly what are the current users working on that particular thing what is the current thing which is going on and what will be the future like as is and to be and then uh, it also uh, the kind of people who are working what is the workload on the project uh, what are the project outcomes how many years uh, will that particular project would be sustainable all those things are captured with respect to smes because those are the ones who work in the ground right so that can give you more more insights on that 
Now, once you capture all those information, then you work with you you capture all those things and you document it, and then you send that document to ID leaders. Once you have a meeting with ID leaders, probably you'll explain them what is the requirement and this is the process flow. This is the requirement we got to, and what will be the next steps from there uh, will be decided by the ID leaders, and they prioritize things based on the requirement. Now, for for example, if you need five features in application, the one which is uh, very much uh, on dependent on the project uh, that particular thing will be done first that is a prioritizing and that is done first keeping in mind that other four should not affect on that now for example if i have uh, built or if i have started working on one feature and next i'm adding another feature on that particular thing then it should not affect the previous one so keeping in mind that type of thing has been decided by the id leaders and then the processes uh, and the deployment i mean uh, development starts sorry when the development is started it goes into very much sprints and after each sprint there is a review and after reviewing uh, and getting things done based on priority final demo is being prepared that demo is being uh, tested by qa if there is in the team or the project manager if not the business analyst does the testing and once he finds that it's working fine then he sends that particular thing to uh, end user he sit with the end user and then work with him to understand what are the defects changes need to be done and if everything is working is working fine then that is again sent back to the developer team to deploy that into the production that means it is going live now now before doing a live everyone within the uh, project will come on the call will have a formal discussion about what exactly has been done how many days it took and a formal sign off being uh, signed by the stakeholder that yeah this is what we need and this is what we got and it all matches all the requirements within the project and that's how a business analyst drives the particular project from initiating it to ending it and uh, if anything is uh, being missed there, then the business analyst is responsible for that. So his role is more like adding responsibility and also uh, initiating that particular thing to move the project smoothly. So that's all I can say about the roles which a business analyst would work and interact with on the particular project. And it depends on the project to project. So I'm mean, not sure like, okay, this project would uh, work for three months or four months. So it depends on all those things. So I guess this is fine. Now I'll save this one. And these three are now in doing stage. So probably you guys have a look on this thing. And uh, when we meet back again, we'll try to add other things on to-do list and then probably make sure we move them feasibly to done. Okay. And thanks for watching this one. Please do follow me on LinkedIn. I have provided my profile link in the description. And also follow me on uh, YouTube, probably on those videos, which if you guys want to have uh, information about, just comment those. and. I am currently a business analyst and the bonus point here for you all guys is I have a Babok guidebook. So I'm going to start those uh, chapters soon once you have a good response from you guys. And I just need a motivation from your end. So that would help me to bring you a complete insight about that book, what exactly is there in that book. And uh, it will be very much helpful for anyone who is preparing for a certification program for a business analyst using, I mean, through IIBA. And that would help them a lot. Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, stay tuned and uh, see you.